Hello friends, my name is Dr. Purvu Dhawan and in this video we will discuss the importance of salt in a kidney failure patient treatment. Salt is a thing which we all take in our food. But if a kidney failure patient takes salt in large amount, it may cause elevation of blood pressure, it may cause edema in the body, that means accumulation of the fluid in the body, which causes further complication in the life of a kidney failure patient. And if the patient of kidney failure takes salt free diet, there will be problem with the digestion of the food. First thing, there may be hypotension, there will be deficiency of sodium and chloride in the body. So we have to take right amount of salt and right quality of salt to maintain each and everything in the body. So we have to understand all this concept. Now the sources of the salt are basically two. First is sea salt which we all know. Sea salt contains pure form of sodium chloride. Whereas there is one more source of salt and that is mountain. If the salt is coming from the mountain, it is known as Himalayan salt or pink salt. This pink salt or Himalayan salt has special quality to control your blood pressure. When we replace sea salt from Himalayan salt in a kidney failure patient, there is much more better control on the blood pressure. So in all patients of kidney failure, it is advised to take Himalayan salt instead of sea salt because it helps the body to control the level of blood pressure. The blood pressure comes to on the lower side. And controlling of this blood pressure is very important in all kidney failure patients because high blood pressure is a one of the major cause of kidney failure. And if the blood pressure comes to the normal range, it helps the body, it helps the kidney to perform better than before. Now the question arises in what quantity we should take the salt. Now even if it's Himalayan salt, it helps the body to control the blood pressure but it still contains sodium. So we have to take care of the quantity. The quantity of the salt should be one pinch of salt in each meal. You can sprinkle the salt over the food so that the, it gives you flavor but don't exceed salt because it will cause the same complication as it causes by the sea salt. Now I hope you understand what kind of salt should be given to the kidney failure patient and in which quantity. If you have any question, query regarding kidney failure, you can simply call our doctors on the number given below. You can also book an appointment with me on the same number. With this, allow me to say goodbye. See you in the next video. Till then, bye-bye.